Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFT server tutorial. In today's video, we'll explain the difference between active-active and active-passive high availability clusters. Let's start with the active-active high availability cluster. An active-active cluster is typically made up of at least two nodes, both actively running the same kind of service simultaneously. The main purpose of an active-active cluster is to achieve load balancing. Load balancing distributes workloads across all nodes in order to prevent any single node from getting overloaded. Because there are more nodes available to serve, there will also be a marked improvement in throughput and response times. The setup you're seeing, which consists of a load balancer and two HTTP servers, meaning two nodes, is an example of this type of HA cluster configuration. Instead of connecting directly to an HTTP server, web clients go through the load balancer, which in turn connects each client to any of the HTTP servers behind it. Assigning clients to the nodes in the cluster isn't an arbitrary process. Rather, it's based on whatever load balancing algorithm is set on the load balancer. So for example, in a round robin algorithm, the first client to connect is sent to the first server, the second client to the second server, the third client back to the first server, the fourth client back to the second server, and so on. If you want to know more about these algorithms, read the article Comparing Load Balancing Algorithms. We've provided a link to that below. In order for the high availability cluster to operate seamlessly, it's recommended that the two nodes be configured for redundancy. In other words, their individual configurations or settings must be identical. If you are interested, the tutorial How to Set Up High Availability File Transfer Servers explains how to achieve redundancy between two MFT servers. Another thing to bear in mind is that a cluster like this works best when the nodes store files in a shared storage like a NAS. Read the article Setting Up a NAS Shared Storage for your file transfer servers for more information. Again, there are links to these articles in the description. Let's now talk about active-passive high availability clusters. Like the active-active configuration, active-passive also consists of at least two nodes. However, as the name active-passive implies, not all nodes are going to be active. In the case of two nodes, for example, if the first node is already active, the second node must be passive or on standby. The passive server, also known as the failover server, serves as a backup that's ready to take over as soon as the active server, also known as the primary server, gets disconnected or is unable to serve. When clients connect to a two-node cluster in active-active configuration, they only connect to one server. In other words, all clients will connect to the same server. Like in the active-active configuration, it's important that the two servers have exactly the same settings. If changes are made in the settings of the primary server, those changes must be cascaded to the failover server. That way, when the failover does take over, the clients won't be able to tell the difference. Jscape has two products that enable you to set up either an active-active or active-passive or even a combination of both high availability cluster. The first product is Jscape MFD Server, a managed file transfer server that supports several file transfer protocols including FTP, FTPS, SFTP, HTTP, HTTPS, WebDAV, OFTP, AS2, AFTP, and many others. Jscape MFD Server comes with failover capabilities that allow you to arrange two MFD servers in an active-passive configuration. It can also be used to provide the file transfer services behind a load balancer for an active-active setup. The second product is Jscape MFD Gateway, a server application that functions both as a reverse proxy and a load balancer. It can provide the load balancing function in an active, active configuration. MFD Gateway supports multiple load balancing algorithms including round robin, weighted round robin, random, least connections, and weighted least connections. That's it. Now that you know the difference between an active-active and active-passive HA cluster, we encourage you to download evaluation editions of those two products we mentioned so you can test out what you just made. 